Jessica Dime talked about how production almost ruined her proposal. Me and Blessing are doing well. We got a surprise for y'all coming that y'all are going to love. Y'all are going to love. Okay, so what's y'all favorite moment on the best of Jessica Dime? I love hip hop. What's y'all favorite moment? Can y'all hear me? What's y'all favorite moment? Because y'all keep saying y'all was watching it. I can't get no work. I cannot. I cannot get no work. What? I'm about to get all this work I'm giving out. Ooh. Be more specific. I ain't talking about y'all though. I'm just saying this how I was fit to say that or something because I'm gonna think you're talking about me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't play with me. I can't get no work. Never have, never will. Won't get work. Not that. Who? I can't let I couldn't let this slide, baby. Everybody tell me something. Oh, she ain't mean no harm. You wrong for that. You took it too far, blah. I know what was going on. Y'all wasn't there. I know what happened. Stop playing with me. I'm get yeah, all this work I'm giving that up in here. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. I said, girl, I can't let this slide. The proposal. <laughs> when did the book? Like, the proposal was so special because. I really had a real live attitude with the whole organization. BH1, Mona Scott, and everybody as a whole had me up on the trip. Because I feel like Walker here with Tammy. Uh, somebody else had a boyfriend in and, and a dude then and they dude was that third. Who was it? It was other couples there. Jock was there. Even though he ain't had no girl like that, he still was there. I was like, why Sean couldn't come? I don't understand it. I thought they was just hating. I said, see, they don't want real love. <laughs> I was going ham. Then I should have known something because... I had the best room. Like, I had a swimming pool right there in my room, my own private swimming pool. It was just, I was like, how, how I get the best room? I'm in here by myself. Baby. The next day, me and Nikki B was on the phone planning my attack on treasure. Because I couldn't tell nobody. Because they'll stop me. I can't. And I did my take on treasure, and I was so embarrassed after the fact because Sean was there. <laughs> I thought I had a chance to, like, you know, I think I had told him that I felt like I wanted to fight this girl, but I don't think I had told him that I went through with it. And then, like, he kind of, like, stopped answering the phone a little bit, so I didn't know really what was going on, and I couldn't talk that much because we was overseas. We only could talk when we got back to the room and could get on the internet and get on Wi-Fi or whatever. So I was like, oh, I gotta tell this man. I don't get to fight. He don't really like this stuff, but I had to. I was like, what am I gonna do? Then he came. I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> but it ain't changed nothing, honey. 
He already know. My husband knows what he got, what he dealing with. I don't do nothing for no reason. That was funny, right? I did not know he was coming and did all that cutting up and clowning. And he ended up there. <laughs> what else, y'all? The Fountain of Dime. Oh. That was another one, too. That was epic. Because it was like... I didn't even really want to do that or say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to say nothing about that. But you ain't finna keep on acting like you don't know me. What did, what What... What was in that line? Cause baby, how you don't know me? How you never heard of me? Okay. Okay. So that's the only reason why I said that y'all. I really was not trying to be missing, but it was like, girl, what world are you living in where you don't, you talking about you don't know me? <laughs> me, Shanelica? You, come on now. That was weird. I couldn't believe, I was like, this gotta be, what they do on TV, cause, girl, like, <laughs> I would never make up that I know a that I don't know. None of you is not that exciting or, or that for me to want to make up to know you, ever. I don't want none of you. I came to Miami to make money, not to get to know, but I got to know some good people while I was there. So that was a good thing, but you know me. That was the weirdest experience of my life. I was like, I'm on national TV talking to a girl, talking about a girl that's saying she don't know me, that knows me very well, have worked with me, made money with me, other stuff. It was the weirdest experience. I was like, and I can't call nobody on the phone and say, can you believe she never said she don't know me? I can't do that because it's not story land. It got to be people that's on the show. It was, that was a learning experience. Then when I got on there, they going to tell me at the piano scene before I got there, tell me song. If you fight, we cannot help you. You was fired. <laughs> Set me up cold. But guess what? A real always comes through. So Can't okay, set a real joke. So okay. I'm sorry. It don't happen like that. God will never let it happen. Some just said, throw that back at that bitch. Throw them crumbs back at that hoe. That don't throw no money for real in real life. You know this girl for real. Stop playing. And it just happened from there. No more sympathy. If I get kicked off, I get kicked off. Cause some, some in the milk ain't clean over here. Telling me I can't fight, but most doing drinks on me. Uh uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is set up. This the set up. What was y'all other favorite mamas? Cause they junk was so good. I was like, okay, they kind of did this all right. I say what I want to say. When I want to say what I want to say, I don't care who I'm talking about. I ain't lying on nobody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Kiss my. <laughs> Why y'all keep saying Cindy? Her name is Cinda. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run you out of Miami like Cindy did. <laughs> it's Cinda. Cinda. I had to throw the first shot. I had to. I had to. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Versace at your head. Did they cut out the fight with Trez? Y'all know they cut that fight out. That's all I'm going to say about that. I got fine for that. I'm talking about it was rated R. They had to edit it to PG-13. See, now you on a whole nother show talking about don't talk to my like that. See, y'all really, my intentions, I really, really, really fuck with Soldier Boy. He cool. Like, I don't, I don't have no problem with him, but I just thought he had lost his mind at that point in time in his life. 
I was like, is he for real? Like, if Sean even thump you, it's terrible. It's a bad situation. So what I meant was like, I know you ain't talking crazy to him and I can beat your ass. You this small. That's what I meant. Like, you're this small, man, you can go edit. You definitely don't want, don't want a date with him. No smoke, no smoke. He definitely didn't want to, but it just, we all was like family in there. It was cool. Like, you argue with brothers and sisters all the time. You argue with family. You argue with uncles, cousins, aunties. Y'all get into it. And then y'all make up and be like, ah, I was drunk or I was my bad. I shouldn't have said that. And it'd be all good. So that's kind of like what happened with us and Soldier. Like, we got it. It wasn't even to really get into it. It was just like, oh, you lost your mind. Okay, you got it back? Okay, we good, little bro. That's all. Uh, no, they fine you for the episode. When you fight, you you get fined. You get fined your whole chick. Unless you don't, unless you don't fight, like physically fight. If it's just like throwing something or throwing something across the room, then you don't get fined. So that's why everybody be throwing drinks and throwing stuff because they don't get, you don't lose no money for that. <laughs> Thank you. The whole chick. So you be like, hold on, do I want to hit this? Let me think about this because the chicks don't be small. Don't be no little chick. The whole episode chick is not small. <laughs> you done lost you some money. <laughs> I'm hitting a. What would y'all do? Would y'all go on spring on? On TV or on TV, cause they play with you, and you feel like I gotta let it down on TV, so I just lose a chick, or you just say, "Bitch, I see you later. I ain't gonna lose my chick on TV." What y'all do? Y'all hit them or not? <laughs> y'all spray on them or not? What would y'all do? Nah, saving the bag. <laughs> so you, you, you just stop yourself from fighting and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm finna lose my coin. Can't f with my money. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.